Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diary. Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's Congress Diaries. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Now, all contracts between the government and the private sector are now under scrutiny. The order to review alleged onerous contracts came from the president himself. This was sparked by the president's anger over the contract between the government and water concessionaires Manila Water and Bainilad. Under that contract, the government is obligated to pay for the losses incurred by the two water concessionaires caused by government interference in the setting of water rates. And of course, that did not sit well with the president who declared that it was an onerous contract. Now, several members of the House of Representatives have filed resolutions and uh, they are seeking a review of the concession agreements with both Manila Water and Maynilad. Now, the question for tonight is how onerous or one-sided are these contracts which have been extended up to 2037 or if there's really no irregularity in itself? Well, we'll discuss this issue along with other issues with our guest tonight, Attorney Larry Gadon. Good evening, Attorney yeah, uh, Gadon. Good evening, Kong Kim, and uh, thank you for inviting me here. Yes, and uh, maraming salamat at pinaunlakan mo kami because this particular issue, medyo mabigat talaga eh. And that's Oo. why we really need a lawyer uh, like you to help us uh, thresh it out. No? Okay. okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll start, Attorney Gadon. Ito Oo. nga bang sinasabi ni Presidente na ito na uh, automatic review. That is, a, um, that is the right of government, isn't yes. it? Yes, oh, oh, that oh. is the right of the government. And uh, considering that uh, there is already a national emergency, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tagalogin ko, meron ng isang matinding problema nararanasan ng mga, Pilip ng mga tao ngayon, mm -hmm. uh, particularly dito sa uh, Metro Manila and uh, the suburbs. No? Mm -hmm. Dahil na... Sa tubig. Uh, sa yung tubig, naka-experience tayo uh, most particularly last year, no? And even several years sa prior to uh, to this, na talagang mahirap na ang supply ng tubig. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the level of our source of water, yes. the level is only good for the population in 1997. Oo. And from that time, from 1997, wala pang bagong source of water. Kaya ang nangyayari ngayon, there are uh, cities... Uh, that uh, experience uh, reduction of water supply by at oh. least 50%. Yes, In yes. fact, yung aking uh, mga kaibigan dyan sa San Jose del Monte, Rasyon ang tubig nila. Ang rasyon nila, ang tubig nila, imagine, they were reduced by 52%. From, uh, from 100% from uh, supply, naging 52%. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for example, in, in, uh, in Manila, in, uh, in Makati, the reduction was about anywhere from 35% to 40%. Uh, 5%. Oo, ang laki. Ang pinakamataas na naging reduction yung uh, San Jose del Monte. Oo. Ay, and yun na yung, yung nagre-reklamo pa nga yung aking mga kaibigan. At kaibigan natin, si Larida, at saka si, Art, si Mayor Art, Oo. at saka si Kong Rida. Oo. Kasi nga naman, tinatambak sa kanila doon yung mga relocation ng housing, and mm -hmm. then yung tubig nila niliitan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, naging problema ang matindi nila yan. Right. Okay. Eh, dahil, dahil dyan, it has already become a national uh, emergency, itong kakulangan ng tubig. Oo nga. Ang Oo. Actually, nagsimula ito nga dahil nga dyan, ano, na nawala ng tubig. Ito lang, Oo. last year, no? Uh, I think there was a time last year na nagrasyon dito sa Manila. Oo, nagrasyon Manila. Oo. Oo. So ngayon, I think that is the one that triggered also yes. the, the review of the contract, Oo. di ba? At tama naman. Oo. Ito ngayon ang mga tanong. So himayin natin yan, uh, Attorney Larry. So, first, is it irregular to extend uh, the contract ng mga water concessionaires natin to 2037, even before its expiration date, which it's, is 2022? It's, it's irregular. It's uh, 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 at the onset, it's irregular. Because hindi Bakit pa nga naman? natatapos yung contract. At tagal-tagal pa, i-renew nyo na ngayon. Uh, ano naman ang ibig sabihin niya? Kinargahan ba sila dyan? Bakit na kailangan nila i-renew ngayon? And not only that, uh, they have failed 
to uh, perform their obligation to put up the uh, sewage treatment plants. Yes. And then, ang taas-taas ng, ng kanilang singil, ha? imagine, sinasabi nila 7% lang daw yung kanilang uh, uh, profit. Eh, ang Bloomberg, sinasabi 42% ang kanilang profit. So, uh, between them na self-serving statements and Bloomberg, I'd rather believe uh, Bloomberg. Oh, second, I, I think meron provision sa batas natin, oh, oh. lalo na tungkol sa public utilities, oh, ano, oh. Not, you cannot go beyond 12%. Yes, oh. Kasi pag lumagpas ka doon, oh, oh. sobra na yon, di ba? Oh, sobra na, oh. kaya nakita mo. Uh, yung sinasabi nila na losses nila nung uh, a total of 11 uh, uh, million or almost 12 uh, uh, billion, billion yes. na naging uh, uh, ruling doon sa kanila arbitration. Sa Singap Singapore, oh, Singapore arbitration. arbitration. Eh, hindi naman talaga actual losses yun ang lugi, kundi yung hindi lang nila na singil. It's a profit that uh, uh, was not realized. Oh, but oh. they said kasi it was included in the the contract, the provisions of the contract. But eh, yun na yung mahirap eh. Yun oh. na yung mahirap Pero, eh. Kasi talaga napaka-onerous ng contract. Pero Imagine, other, other ang naging nila, role lang nila, oh, oh. ang naging role lang nila is computing kung magkano ibabayad mo, papatungan nila yung uh, singil sa'yo, and yet, wala naman silang ginawa talagang superstructure that will improve the services. Mm -hmm. No? Dahil na yung kagaya ng mga water supply na yan. Yan pa yung mga water supply system nung panahon pa ni Presidente Marcos. Eh, sabi nila kasi... Wala naman sila naging, naging improvement dyan. Okay, so let's see. Uh, part of uh, what they are asking for in payment, di ba? Pag binasa mo yung bill mo sa water, yung SDP, uh -oh. di ba? And they said na yung sewerage na yon uh -oh. na treatment plant, uh -oh. ay dapat sila ang magtatayo nun. Uh -oh, para dapat hindi pumunta sa Manila Bay, uh -oh, uh -oh. para hindi pumunta sa tribute, yung water uh -oh, tributaries, tributaries na, tributaries, na uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, ano sa palagay palang, mo? It's, it's, there is already a clear violation of the contract. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think the state has uh, the right to take over immediately. In fact, mm -hmm. immediately because that is provided for under the Constitution. Oh, oh. No? Uh, ano yung sa specific Article na... 12, uh, mm -hmm. specific articles, ito yung uh, Section 17 and Section 18. Oh, oh. Ang Section 18 says that in times of national emergency, when the public interest so requires, the state... Uh, may, during the emergency and under reasonable terms and prescribed by it, mm -hmm. temporarily take over or direct the operation of any privately owned public utility or business affected with public interest. Yes. This, in fact, uh, refers to a privately owned. Eh, what more yung dati ng publicly owned and then it take over mo lang because the, the management company that is supposed to take care of uh, doing a better job hindi nila naman nila no perform kaya mga kaya mas lalo diba, may, dapat oh, para oh, mas maganda yung gagawin oh, nila kesa dun sa existing yes, ginagawa ng gobyerno if gobyerno. the constitution uh, provides for a, uh, a state takeover of a private business mm -hmm. if the emergency uh, requires oh, oh. if the public emergency requires a eh, what more of a public utility already owned by the government right Oh, di para i-revert mo lang yung ano, yung the right to manage. Pero ang sabi nila, And, uh, oh, uh, 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 meron pa isa. Meron pa isa yung section 18. The state may in the interest of national welfare or defense establish and operate vital industries and upon payment of just compensation mm -hmm. transfer to public ownership utilities and other private enterprises to be operated by the government. We're talking here again of another of a uh, uh, a private enterprise yes. uh, which is involved with public interest na mm -hmm. pwedeng i-take over ng government. Mm -hmm. eh, what more itong uh, um, water utility sa pub oh. public utility yes. which is already owned by the government. Right. Oh, Parang oh. sinabi mo lang, eh, di ka naman, ma, di mo naman ginawa yung trabaho mo eh. Eh, amin na lang. Kami na lang ulit. Ibabalik mo na lang Ay, sa amin. Na lang sa amin. Oh, oh. Right. So, I, I believe that there's, the president can immediately take over. If, uh, if, yes, uh, if he really wants to. Oh, yes, oh. oh, oh. Eh, eh, ito ang sinasabi nila, um, yung mga, these are the, some of the issues being raised oh, with oh. that. Number one, matatakot daw ang mga foreign investors. Talukuhan yan. Especially because, eh, sabi niya, alam mo, yung contracts are uh, sacrosanct. In oh, other oh. words, hindi mo siya dapat galawin. Oh, oh. And this is needed for a level playing field. Yes. And also, to boost the morale of the investors, especially now that we have very few foreign oh, direct oh. investments. What oh, oh. is your reaction? Uh, yun ang mga, yung mga, uh, yung mga foreign investments naman dito sa atin, they're not involved with public utilities like manufacturing a car, mm -hmm. manufacturing appliances, mm -hmm. 
di ba? Or, uh, But for the future, for example, in terms of uh, finances, salimbawa, yung ating mga water concessioners ng utang, international uh -oh. din yung ano, financing nila. Uh -oh. Because sa laki ng kailangan nila, they would probably need to syndicate it to, you know, international uh, financial institutions. Uh -oh. oh, so... What do you think? Uh, sa tingin ko hindi. Ang, dahil ang, ang mga business, ang mga investors naman, nag-iisip, pagka nag-invest yan sa isang uh, country, mm -hmm. ang tinitingnan nila, yung, yung business na ma ma makukuha nila yung kanilang capital, ROI. and then ROI, and then they would earn uh, profit, without really going into public utilities. Mm -hmm. Kasi una-una, yung, yung ang, ang public utilities lang na, naman natin dito na pwede mo sabi, kuryente at saka tubig, okay. no? and transportation, yes. and uh, communication. Yes. Eh, apat lang na industries yan. Eh, yung, yung namang karamihan ng industries dito na, na may mga investors tayo, foreign investors, eh, hindi mm -hmm. mo sila involved sa public utilities. Mm -hmm. Di ba? In fact, I could probably say that 96% of them are involved in uh, merchandise and uh, manufacturing so and other sabihin, industries. It is well, not hindi, true oh, it is na not true. it will uh, have a chilling effect no, on the foreign investors. No, I don't think investors. so. The, the, the foreign investors are not bobo. <laughs> no, sa tingin nila, matatakot sila ng ganyan. Give, oh. them, uh, give them some package, uh, an attractive package that they, they will uh, get their ROI and they will earn something, they will, they, they will earn profit. I'm sure they will come here. Oh, Ang na. problema lang kasi dito, kaya, na, kaya sila medyo uh, hindi masyadong... Uh, Uh, probably the, the other investors are not shy, are, are are shying, shying away, away from oh. the uh, Philippines is because ang taas-taas kasi ng kuryente natin. Oh, oh. Tapos ang taas-taas ng tubig. Oh, oh. And ang, ang telecommunications natin ay napaka-bagal. Yeah, oh, those mga, the, those support, are necessary. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. Facilities are are uh, very poor. no? Unlike in other countries. Uh, you can go. Oh, in that's fact, true. You, imagine yung Burma which is only about four years uh, old na uh, uh, Myanmar. Oh, oh, no? oh, oh. Four years old pa lang sila na, na independent country. And yet, talong-talo tayo sa communications. Oo nga, oh. no? Oh. But, uh, okay, balik oh. tayo ngayon sa pinag-uusapan natin. How do you legally get out of a, an onerous contract? And sabi nila, dapat daw kung meron nakita na violation, idaan daw sa ang the proper procedure would be to go to the courts. Ah, hindi katulad ng ginagawa ng presidente natin. But, before you react to that, again, Attorney Larry okay. Gadon, we'll have to pause for a break. Congress Diaries will be back. Stay with us. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight, Attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon, who is answering all the hot issues uh, for tonight, especially for uh, the uh, honors contracts or so-called honors contracts. Attorney Gadon, we left a question hanging yes. earlier. Oh. And uh, your answer, you said, will be very, very interesting. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, ang sinasabi dito sa Section 17 ng uh, Constitution, Article 12, is that uh, in times of national emergency, mm -hmm. there is already a national emergency mm -hmm. because the water rationing is already uh, here, di ba? Mm -hmm. oh. When the public interest so requires, the state may, during the emergency, 
during the emergency. But it has not been declared, Attorney Larry. Well, so baka uh, inaantay nila uh, na uh, i-declare mo muna na state oh, of ay, emergency. Hindi uh, uh, yun lang gagawin siyempre. Kung, kung, kung ako talaga kay Presidente Duterte, mm -hmm. then I will declare it. There is a national emergency. Mm -hmm. How come that in 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 uh, state of calamities, eh, kahit yung mayor or yung governor pwede mag-declare? Eh, but in, eh, this, ito, in this instance, it has to be the president. Yes, it has to be the president. So sasabihin ng Presidente, mm -hmm. uh, there is an emergency we have been suffering, the pe people have been suffering for uh, lack of water. There is an emergency. Therefore, I invoke Section 17 of the Constitution and invoke Section 18 of the Constitution. I will take over. Pwede. Oh, 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 pwede. pwede. And let them, eh, di bahala silang magdemanda kung gusto but, nila. Ito, but in the meantime, that, that there is an emergency, uh, the, the president can take over. Another lawyer guest of mine in a different show, uh -oh. ano? Uh, and now Congressman, Congressman Rufo said that the proper procedure uh, should be to go to the courts. What no, is your this reaction? is not an ordinary contract. In an ordinary private contract, pwede. pwede. Uh -oh. no, a contract between me and you, you mm -hmm. manufacture something, I will buy it, okay. Mm -hmm. But this time, there is a public interest involved. In fact, this is yes. a national interest. And um, the Constitution says that in times of national emergency, when the public mm -hmm. interest so requires that state may, during the emergency, pwede na, wala naman sinasabi dito na in times of national emergency the president should go to the court and file a petition to revoke the contract walang sinabing ganon eh, alam mo sa interpretation ng batas mayroon kami sinasabi dyan na what is excluded is not included or what is not included is excluded mm -hmm. it's very simple the, the, the words here are very, very clear, right. very no? clear yes. in times of emergency magpa-file ka pa eh, eh, what if it will take 10 years bago may resolve yan and I'm uh -oh. sure uh, because of the overflowing money of uh, these oligarchs, eh pwede nilang pahabain ng sampung taon yung issue na yan. Mm -hmm. Eh, how can you react to the saka, national emergency? Papano, oo, oh, oh, kung baga, oh. hindi na viable option ang... Oh, hindi na viable option oh, yun. Oh, oh. Eh, eh di, wa, wa, wala rin nangyari. In fact, if you will do that, you will only extend the contract unnecessarily. Kasi ang sasabihin ng ano niya... Status quo. Oh, status quo tayo. Oh. Hindi pwede i-revoke yung contract. Oh, and, and therefore... It has an automatic extension because there is a case in uh, because there is a pending case. Oh nga, there's another issue, uh, Attorney Larry. Yung sinasabi nila na yung sa under the provisions of this said contract, ano, the uh, government cannot intervene on how much the two companies can charge a consumer. Your reaction? Yun, yun pa nga mahirap eh. Alam mo talaga sinadya yung contract niya ng ganyan mm. eh. That makes it onerous. Mm -hmm. Imagine, this is a public utility. Mm -hmm. E yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, kuryente. Meron tayo, di ba, uh, ERB. Uh, ERB. Energy no? Regulatory oh, Energy Board. Energy uh, Regulatory Board. Uh, yung gasoline, meron din silang uh, yung Energy Re Regulatory Board covered din yan. Oo. Oh, oh. e, e then, itong water. MWSS, hindi oh, ba? Oo. Oh. Oh, itong water, hindi mo pwede i-regulate. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. So, uh, what is the function now of MWSS oh, kung hindi kung, sila kung hindi siya lang pwede. Oh, oh. Oh. Alam mo, ginawa talaga yung kontratang yan because the people who drafted that contract and made it possible or concluded that contract, eh, yun din yung mga tauhan ng mga oligarko ngayon, eh, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, but, oh. okay, there's, uh, from, you know, sentiments ng business community, sabi nila, Attorney Larry, ito daw, kontrata na ito. Ang nag-draft naman ito are yung mga consultants ng government. Uh -oh. So, yung mga hinayar na government councils at the time of the drafting and review of that uh, contract before it was awarded. Uh -oh. So, ano ang masasabi mo? Oh, sabi sino nila, mo? Sila, sila rin ngayon yung nakaupo na mga mga uh, executives ng mga companies mm -hmm. na yan. They came from the government. They uh, 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 helped uh, uh, drop the contract and uh, negotiate the contract and after conclude the contract. Term, and then after their term, sila, nagtrabaho din sila dun sa mga oligarchs na yan. Oh, diba? Kakapal na mukha nila. No? <laughs> 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 Hindi ba merong batas dyan na uh, may prohibition? Well, Pero, actually, dapat ni, yan. Isang taon lang ang prohibition Ay, dyan. Gusto mo bang uh, extend yan, or ano, lifetime, uh, lifetime na, yan. na ban? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's very unethical. Very unethical. <laughs> Oo nga. Uh, about... And very immoral. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Oh, ikaw gumawa ng contract, binigay mo lahat ng pabor doon, after ng term mo, magtatrabaho Nilipat ka presidente ka doon, doon hindi ba? No? Diba? Oh, oh. It's, uh, it's very obvious na bayad sa kanila yan for mm -hmm. their uh, 
uh, services. And nationalistic services. Oo no? nga. So uh, is this also... And patriotic services. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. ganito, ang tanong dyan, Attorney Larry, is this, does this comprise regulatory capture? Yes, then? that's a re regulatory capture. Oh, Kasi, oh. Uh, kinopo na nila yung, ano, eh, yung kontrata. Eh. Mm -hmm. And then, sila rin yung makikinabang. In the oh, end. Oo oh, oh, nga. Oh. Pero sabi naman nila that, you know, at up to now, meron pa tayo, inangyayari pa rin yan. Sad to say, even if we have a president like uh, President Duterte right now, meron pa rin mga ahensya na, you know, that still has uh, their actual bosses that are um, from private businesses. Oh, oh. What do you think? Oh, Paano pero... natin... Oh, pero hi, sila naman, wala naman silang ganong, wala naman silang mga exit ganong... Exit program. <laughs> exit pro, Wala silang mga ganong iniwanan na legacy of, uh, uh, ano, of uh, onerous contracts. Mm -hmm. Some of them are from the government, but uh, when they transfer to private sectors, hindi naman sila yung involved doon sa mga kagaya nito, mga onerous contracts na ito. So, ibig sabihin nun, do you think that there is a need for maybe to introduce some amendments uh, on existing laws or maybe to introduce a new law? Uh, you know, because uh, in the light of uh, what is happening Yes, so dapat. Yung, yung one year na prohibition, it should be uh, uh, lifetime. Oo, Oo yun ang dapat na ano. Oo, that's one, ano? Oo, Oo, Oo. dapat Oo. dapat yun. Actually, sinabi nga ni Kasi Kung Rufus sure sa isip ano, niya yun. Ay, ako, ay, ala, sasabihin nila, wala akong ebidensya. Pero I'm sure, nung ginawa nila yung mga kontrata nila yan, May, nasa isip na nila yan na, oh yeah, i-hire ka na aming presidente after your term. Ibig Oo, sabihin nun. Kaya nun, gandahan mo na yung kontrata. Meron na silang connivance, Oo, umpisa pa connivance na. Oo. Gandahan mo na yung kontrata, kumita tayo malaki, para pag ikaw na yung presidente dito, o ikaw ang chairman of the board, eh, malaki din ang sweldo mo. Oo, Oo. Nga. Oo. Siyempre, oh, gano'n lang. Hindi naman tayo ano? bobo para ano yun yan eh. Oo, oh, eh, simple lang yan. Ipaitago pa nila yan. Oh, oh, oh. But what about the other contracts? Sabi kasi nila, pinag-iinitan daw ang, uh, ni Presidente, several big names lang. Like oh. Ayalas, you know, si Pangilinan, di ba? Oh. So, and the Lopeses, di ba? But um, now, meron pang lumalabas na ibang... Uh, Supposedly onerous deals din, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Yung Chevron at saka yung sa UP uh, Technohub. Techno oh, oh. What's your take on this? Well, okay. Yung UP Technohub, mm. talagang ano yan, sobrang... Garapal. Garapal. <laughs> Kasi lumalabas siya upon, uh, in the investigation of uh, mm -hmm. RJ Nieto, who is also known as Thinking Pinoy. Mm -hmm. no? Hindi lang siya vlogger, ah. he's a, a, a columnist in uh, Manila Bulletin. No? Mm -hmm. uh, Uh, yung, yung, he found out that ang, the, the, the rental rate is only 21 pesos per square meter. Mm -hmm. In UP Town Center, ha? Mm -hmm. uh, in UP uh, Techno Hub, uh, oh. imagine mo, prime property yan. Mm -hmm. Iba naman yung Chevron. Yung Chevron kasi, uh, in, in uh, the 1935 Constitution, uh, the U.S. Uh, has a parity rights. Uh, right, yes. Equal rights with the, the Filipinos, Correct, di ba? Yes. So they can own lands. Yes. They can own pra real right. properties. Yes. Yung Chevron, at that time, talagang binili na nila yung lupa na yun dyan, yung sa Lemery, Batangas. Mm -hmm. And at that time, wala naman nakatira dyan. Lib-lib yan. In fact, kung ako gobyerno, I can even give it to them so that they can operate this uh, 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 refinery uh, plants, di ba? Mm -hmm. Eh, kailangan natin yung gasolina eh. Mm -hmm. There is a national need. There is, that is a national need, yung, yung gasoline. Ay, eh, kaysa mo wala tayong, wala tayong gasolina, paano tayo uunlad? Eh, itong, itong UP uh, Techno Hub, iba yan. Wala mm -hmm. namang national interest yan eh. eh UP interest yan eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Oo. Eh, at saka, yung, yung, yung Chevron kasi, nung dumating yung 1973 Constitution, ipinagbawal na yung, ano, yung uh, ownership of lands yes. by uh, foreigners Foreign, yes. or foreign entities and foreign, mm -hmm. uh, foreign uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. Ang nangyari dyan, dati ng kanila yon Binili na nila eh. So, ang, so, na, ang ginawa, nagkaroon na lang ng arrangement na i-revert nila to back, revert back to uh, uh, the Philippines, mm -hmm. to, to the government, And then, with that agreement that sila yung maglilis. But on a very uh, reasonable uh, fees. Kasi nga naman, amin na ito eh. O, in the first place. In the first place, we, uh, we, we own this. O, ibabalik namin sa inyo, i -re rent namin. Pero yung consideration naman ng rent, maliit lang. Ah. And not only that eh. Kailangan natin yung refinery plan. Sure. Diba? O, and not only that. Liblib yung lugar na yon. Walang nakatira doon dati. Eh, attorney, 
Oh. Noon siguro, nung panahon na yun, nung oh. binigay, liblib talaga yun. Oh, liblib talaga Pero yun. ngayon, no, because hindi of na. That, oh, because oh. of the refinery, nag-sprout na yung communities doon. Okay, so we'll talk oh. about... In fact, nakabuti pa nga yung Chevron na yun eh. Ganun ba? O oh. oh, sige, so we will so, talk... So, they cannot blame President Marcos on that. Oo oh, nga, so teka muna. Dati na, oh, oh. even before Marcos became president, pag-aari na talaga ng Chevron oh, we, yun. We, we will talk about that more. Uh, we will come back after this break. Stay with us. Mga isyong pinag-uusapan, mga palitang laman ng pahayagan, impormasyong dapat niyong malaman, tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest tonight, the irrepressible attorney Lorenzo Gadon. So, attorney yeah, Lorenzo no. Larry. <laughs> oh, so, medyo mainit na yung issue. Uh -oh. Sabi mo nga kanina, yung sa Chevron, iba ang kanyang... Iba yung sitwasyon na. Oh, oh, iba uh -oh. sa UP Techno Hub. Uh -oh. So, are you saying then that there's no onerous uh, deal that, in, that in the Chevron? Yes, there's uh -oh. no onerous eh, deal. Ang findings ng uh, DOF natin under Secretary Carlos Dominguez uh -oh. says otherwise. Oh, eh, eh siyempre. Kasi alam mo, sa totoo lang, ito si Secretary Secretary Dominguez, original yellow yan eh. So, he would protect uh, the Aquinos. Grabe ka uh, naman. And itong, uh, is, kaya kita mo, nung, bin, nung nakikita na itong contracts with Ayala, itong mm -hmm. Tecnoha, ganyan, he is coming to the rescue of the Ayalas and biniblame ngayon si Marcos. Ikaw naman. If you, will, if you will look at the history of Chevron, makikita mo, even before Marcos became president, pag-aari na ng Chevron yan. Oo, okay. Pero I disagree oh. with you naman on uh, the uh, Secretary, Gad uh, Secretary Dominguez. Oh. Alam mo, Attorney Gadon, siguro, let Let's just say that he is looking at it from the same point of view that the president has ordered them. Ay, hindi, hindi ba? Magkaiba yung, magkaibang, so, magkaiba. So, hindi mo sabihin, personal yung kanyang interest doon. Oo, oh, personal yan. yan. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, he wants to uh, uh, put some peanut butter coating on this uh, Ayala uh, Could din na-divert niya yung issue. Oh, Dina-divert lang niya. Oh. Oh, Pero, oh. Tuta, eh, hindi mo naman pwedeng i-compare talaga. Napakalayo. Unang-una, okay. unang, 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 kailangan natin ng uh, refinery. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? Eh, pwede mo ba masabihin sa akin, Kong Kim, na kailangan natin ng mall dyan sa UP? Is, is, is there a talaga? need? Oo, oh, oh, magkaibang, magkaiba is it, talaga. Is it to our national interest that there should be a mall inside UP? <laughs> Oo oh, nga, pero oh. ito naman. Oh, now, is oh. it uh, to our national interest that there should be a refinery plant so that yung gasolina natin hindi masyadong magiging mahal. Imagine if we will import all our uh, And finished no products of oil. Oh. Kung wala tayong refinery dito, oh. eh di siyempre baka nagdoble na yung oh, presyo. Na, Gadon, ah, I'll have to oh. ask this. Ah. Hindi ka oh. naman abogado ng Chevron. Oh, hindi, hindi. Hmm. Uh, baka actually, mamaya. Actually nga, uh, isa pa nga yan eh. Oh. If you will remember, uh, si President Marcos, mm -hmm. uh, the late President Marcos, uh, put up this Filipinas Petron mm -hmm. so that he can uh, check uh, the prices of, uh, pump, the pump prices of uh, right. gasoline. Yes. Yes. Kasi yes. nga, dahil meron tayong Pilipinas Petron noon, eh, uh, ang mangyayari, hindi makakapagpataas ng sobra. Itong Caltex, yes. uh, mo mobile, at saka itong... Uh, Uh, shell, di ba? Along with the Anong yari, binenta before. nila Corey at saka nila FBR yung uh, Petron. <laughs> oh, yan, De, no? Oo nga naman. Ah, ang dami-dami talagang distraction na ginawa ang EDSA 1 at mga Aquino sa Ito ating naman bansa. ang sasabihin sa'yo ng mga ano, ng mga oh. criticize mo ngayon. Oh. Eh sinasabi mo sila, nandudun, the original na dilawan. Sabihin nila, eh ikaw naman, Marcos loyalist ka. Oh, oh. Eh, now, People now realize na tama pala si Presidente Marcos. <laughs> o, lahat, lahat ng nangyayari nito, yung mga owner's contracts na yan, o, yan yung dahilan kung bakit na gusto nilang mapaalis si Presidente Marcos noon. O, nung, na, nung nawala si Presidente Marcos, ayan, nagwala na, gawa na gawa sila yan. lahat. O, naging lahat ng kawalang yaan, nangyari na. <laughs> lahat ng kawalan, sa kuryente, sa tubig, uh, nangyari na lahat, no. O, o ngayon na, na realize ng tao. So, I am proud to be a Marcos Lois because ako, oh, hindi ako kasi bobo ng mga dilawan okay, dyan. Okay, so right? well, we will not go there, uh, Attorney uh, Larry. So anyway, kung sa Congress naman, looking at the point of view of congressmen, iba-iba rin ang pananaw na natin dyan eh, no? sa, sa amin because I came from Congress. no Pero ito yung isang tanong ko, from, your, from a legal standpoint, tama ba yung ginagawa na yung 
yung business taxes, uh -oh. concession fees, uh -oh. debt servicing, among others, be passed on to the consumers? Tama Hindi ba yun? Hindi dapat yun eh. Kaya, ka, kaya kang, uh, uh, di ba, take for example itong, ano, itong uh, sa water concessioners. Hmm. Kaya nga, di ba, sinasabi, kaya binigay sa'yo yung concession, mm -hmm. kasi may kapital ka. That is supposed to be the uh, first consideration for Correct. giving you the contract. May kapital ka. Eh, nangyari ngayon, hihiram din pala sila ng kapital. And then, yung ibabayad nila doon sa, sa nilo nila, manggagaling din sa consumers. In fact, even the interest. Pero, nailibre na nila yung kanilang profit at saka yung kanilang uh, ano, uh, income. Right. Oo. Oh. So, nasan yung justice doon? There's no social justice in that. Oo, because lumalabas na nagbabayad na yung consumer, pati pinataksan, o, oh, yung, pati yung tax, pass on pa nila. Dalawang taxes binabayaran oh. ng consumer, yung taxes na dahil kinukuha nila yung service nitong uh, oh, oh, concessionaire na to, pangalawa, yung dahil sa taxes ng mga may-ari. Nung may-ari, oh, ng income, oh, oh. yung income tax. Oh, oh. Pero mo, pass on pa rin sa, ano yun, eh di ang lumalabas yan, libre sila sa tax. Kasi yung nagbabayad, yung tao pa rin. O oh, hindi ba dapat, oh. um, according to the laws, existing laws that we have right now, oh. we, uh, is there now a need to introduce more laws, especially for this one? At oh. saka dapat plunder naman yan, hindi oh, ba? O, plunder talaga yan. Oo, oh, oh, eh. eh hindi, kung maalala mo, ha, eh. ito, ito oh. uli, ha, masasabi na uli natin to. Unlike nung time ni President Marcos, mm -hmm. yung Meralco, di ba, nung tinikover yan ng government, ang nangyari nun, people became the owners. Mm -hmm. Maraalala mo, nakakatanggap tayo ng cheque noon every end of the year for our dividends as owners of Miralco. Mm -hmm. Eh, nung mapatalsik ulit si Presidente Marcos, binalik na naman sa mga Lopez ng walang bayad dyan. Ang nangyari, pati yung ganong benefit natin, nawala. Oo oh, oh. nga. Nako, oh. speaking, speaking of which, ano, there's also uh, that issue uh, oh. right now, pending oh, yeah, in Congress, yun, oh, yung yan. renewal ng franchise. Oh, oh. Um, according to, um, you know, some kasi sabi nila, hindi mo pwedeng uh, isuppress ang oh. media. Eh, hindi which naman means, of media. Oh, oh, <laughs> so, yung press freedom, sinasabi nila. So, himayin natin, uh, Attorney Larry, mm -hmm. itong ang franchise is Kasi a basic... Business, uh, hindi, ano, tsaka basic uh, government, uh, ano yan, right basic yan. Basic government right. In fact, oh, nakalagay nga yan sa Constitution din eh. Oh. In fact, even in, in, even in the 1973 Constitution, nakalagay yan eh. Mm -hmm. Oo nga, pero sinasabi niya yon basic, ha, up to now, basic uh, government right to give a franchise or yes, not, so, diba? In fact, ang franchise nga should, should lang not yun be eh. more than 50 years. Okay, well, nire-renew naman siya talaga. Well, pero pag nire-renew yan, another application, and right. another, for yes. another terms uh -oh. of uh, through, reference. Through, through Congress, oh, 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 through oh. Congress. So, but, oh, eto nga yung, ginag yung sinasabi ngayon, this is the issue now in Congress. Um... Ang ABS-CBN, nagpa-file ng uh, renewal ng franchise dahil uh -oh. tapos na yung prangkisa nila eh. Uh -oh. Sabi ni Presidente, hindi pwede. Uh -oh. Kasi marami na kayong uh, binayulate. Uh -oh. O una, hindi kayo nagbayad. Uh -oh. uh, and all of those. Uh -oh. But according to, um, um, well, yung those in support of uh, uh -oh. the renewal of the franchise, mm -hmm. number one, hindi mo naman makikita kasi una, binayaran daw uh -oh. uh, ng... Uh, ng ABS-CBN, yung kanilang utang oh. through the SPAV, yung uh, special purpose asset vehicle. Oh. Pangalawa, pati yung taxes daw binayaran. Ayan yung hindi pa natin alam, ano? kasi wala pa akong nabasa na, na any Meron? article or mm -hmm. news na binayaran nila yan. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, there were payments, dapat BIR ang mag-announce na binayaran na talaga to At ipakita nila yung payment. De merong, no? merong lumabas uh, recently na nagbayad sila ng mga kanilang taxes, no? Uh -oh. Parang mga to the tune of a, a, a little over a hundred million. Pero Ay, kulang yun. Eh, kasi di ba ang laki ng utang pa nila? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, And that's just the taxes. Oh, oh. Uh, ang ang pinag-uusapan, ang sabi ni Presidente, yung ano eh, yung utang mo doon sa loan mo. Oh, oh. Apart from the taxes. Oo, oh, oh. apart so, from the taxes. Pero bayad na raw yun. Anong sa pag- uh, yun, uh, Wala akong knowledge yan kung talagang bayad yun o hindi. Pero as I've said, wala pa akong nabasang information na binayaran talaga nila yun. Mm -hmm. Oo. But don't you think, um, you know, they say that this is uh, an infringement on press freedom? Ah, sa tingin ko hindi. Bakit? Kasi ang dami-dami ng mga existing uh, TV stations, ang dami-dami mga TV networks. In fact, maraming I even sa mga social media o hindi naman pinipigilan yan eh. So mm -hmm. the press freedom is very much alive. And oh. We are talking here about business permit 
franchise. No? Mm -hmm. it, it has nothing to do with press, press freedom. And not only that, eh, marami silang violations na ginawa. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ginamit nila yung uh, ABS-CBN to malign na President Marcos. Kasi nga, yun pala yung purpose nila. Papansin kasi para ano. Attorney uh, Larry, na kay President Duterte na tayo ngayon. Eh, so. oh, eh, ganun din. Minamalign din nila sa Presidente Duterte mm -hmm. with uh, all this news about EJK and uh, Uh, basta news kina Delima, kila Trillanes, talagang hina-highlight nila. Mm -hmm. no? Anything that is negative on the president, hina-highlight nila. Okay, so... Uh, actually, ano, Kong Kim, I have mm -hmm. lots of friends in ABS-CBN. Mm -hmm. oh, pero, sorry to say this, but uh, I, I am with the president on this decision. Not okay. To renew. So, And if there are congressmen who are pushing, eh, siguro... Mga 11 daw sila nag-file ng ano eh, ng, ng bill ah, or renewal. Oo. Oh. Oh. Well, Pero hindi I hope hindi sila eh. binayaran. No? <laughs> okay. So, actually, ang next question... Kung kasi kung babayaran, mahina 30 million each uh, dyan. Ah, mahina yun? Bariano. Oh. De, pero ang tanong natin dyan... I hope dyan, hindi. Oo, no? oh, oh, but Attorney Larry, you also have to look at the plight of the workers of uh, ABS-CBN. Oh. But, before you answer that question, we will be right back. Stay with us, please. The Philippines has been around for centuries. Malayo na rin ang narating natin. But back then, the way of life has been mostly analog. Did you know that you need to take a boat from Cavite in order to go to Manila? Yes, ganon ang takbo ng buhay dati. You need to send a letter to the United States? Sure, pero aabutin ka ng isang buwan bago matanggap ang iyong liham. Kailangan mong tumawag sa bahay o sa iyong kaibigan? Many ways to do that. Pwede ka maghulog ng tatlong 25 sa payphone or use that vintage rotary phone na most likely 6 digits lang ang landline number. Forget about email. Telex at fax machine ang modes of communication for business. You want to listen to that one song of your favorite band on repeat? Sorry, pero kailangan mong i-rewind ang cassette tape. Buong album naman ang kailangan mong bilhin kahit iisang kanta lang ang gusto mo doon. But things change, and we as a race progress. The world is getting small. We are now a traveling population. Why? Because travel is now cheap. Our friends are across the world because our form of communication is now borderless. Time zones are now meant to serve as a guide and not as a limitation. We can buy things from the comfort of our homes. Nasanay na tayo sa convenience because why not? It is the price of development and a glimpse of our future. Have you imagined the future? How do you think it will look like? Driverless cars? Yes, autonomous driving will happen. Robots replacing low-value processes done by humans? Tama ka dyan. Paying for your groceries using digital currency? Very realistic. Materials being 3D printed instead of ordering? Yes, we are indeed a progressive race. And technology plays a vital and crucial part of it. How will this affect our lives? Kailangan ba natin itong matutunan? Mahirap ba itong aralin? Or kaya naman? How can our nation take advantage of these advancements? All of these can be understood and learned. Tayo ng matuto para umunlad. Nandito na ang Abante. Progress through technology. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. This is the last uh, segment of our episode for tonight and our guest is still Attorney Larry Gadon. So, Attorney Larry, ito yes, naman uh, ang question. Oh, oh, oh. Oo, eh yung mga, sabi nila, kawawa din naman daw yung mga empleyado. You know, I think the, that company has more than 11,000 employees, okay. regular or otherwise, yes. di ba? So, paano naman yon? Don't we also have to think about their plight? Well, pagka halimbawa ay nawala na yung ABS-CBN, I'm sure they will be absorbed by other uh, ano, networks. Oh, actually, kami, bukas ng kami need, dito. We, we Magkakaroon ng need, oh. di ba? May nagsara, may merong lalaki, no? And paglaki ng iba, I'm sure uh, they will need uh, lots of uh, human resource uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. so, And uh, uh, sa pagkakaalam ko rin naman, hindi na naman talaga masyadong naging uh, uh, makatarungan at patas ang uh, management ng ABS-7 when it comes to treating their people. In fact, ang dami-dami nga nilang kaso sa NLRC, uh, labor cases. Oo. Oo. And not only that, 
walang mga benefits yung... Uh, karamihan naman sa kanila dyan, hindi naman regular eh. Talent. No? O, mga talents na pag nagkasakit, aba, wala kayong ano dyan, wala kayong mm -hmm. assistance dyan or ano. Mm -hmm. And uh, pagka wala na yung contract nila, goodbye. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, walang ano dyan, walang so, no heart involved. Oh. Oo. Oh, oh. in, in other words, trabaho lang, no? Oh, Walang personalan. Oh, Ganon. Oo oh, nga. So, no heart and emotions para sa kanila. Oo oh, oh. nga. Eh, syempre, you, can, you cannot uh, remove one from the other. Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Pagka yan ang pag-uusapan, di ba? Okay. Uh, balik tayo, uh, Attorney Larry. At this point, ang dami nating nakikita na, ano eh, na contracts that are rigged in favor of... Uh, yung the big businesses, di ba? Yes, oo. oo. So, um, what do you think is needed at this time? You know, is it just about a question of new legislation? Is it uh, just a question of amending existing uh, provisions in our law? O kailangan natin ng something more radical? And what we can do think, in the future to oh, prevent? Oh. I think uh, there should be a radical solution, particularly on the water issue and the uh, electric or power uh, mm -hmm. issue. And then, uh, dito sa uh, issues like uh, itong sa, ano, sa Tecno Hub, mm -hmm. uh, pwede mo siguro idaan sa korte yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang, por ang pwede maging resulta niyan, pag dinaan mo sa korte yan, pwede mong singilin yung kanilang kakulangan. Mm -hmm. Whereas yung dito sa, halimbawa, immediate takeover of uh, water uh, concessioners, no? Uh, hindi mo na siguro matitingnan na pagbayarin pa sila doon sa kanila. No? Ang importante dito, yung maayos na lang na serbisyo sa taong bayan. Mm -hmm. they're, uh -oh. they're saying... Kasi... And then, of course, uh, there should be a law. Uh, it should be, in, in fact, enshrined in the Constitution that public, public utilities cannot be uh, passed on to the private uh, uh, sector. Okay, they can, you, you know, government can partner, but you cannot... Oh, uh, you cannot totally give, up, give uh, it up, di ba? Mm -hmm. There are... Kagaya ng ganyan. Ay, ay, ito, resulta nga ito nung EDSA 1 eh. Yung lahat ng panluloko sa Pilipino. Ikaw nangyari, naman? Oo. Kaya, lahat ng panluloko at distraction ng Pilipino nangyari because of EDSA 1 and because of the Aquinos. Oo. And together with FBR. Oo. Eh, at... si FBR naman kasi, eh, at the time, sunod-sunuran din sa Kilakori at sa, sa mga oligarko. Eh. Yeah, attorney... Otherwise, yung, yung uh, protest ni... Uh, Uh, the late uh, Miriam Santiago sa Supreme Court, eh baka lumabas ng hindi niya inaasahan. Pero, Kasi I remember at that time that oo. when Cory uh, declared a revolutionary government, he, she replaced all the justices with the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? So lahat yun, may utang na loob sa kanya. Eh kung, kung yung protest ni uh, Miriam noon, eh biglang manalo. Oh. Oo nga. Kaya takot si Ramos noon eh. Oo. Kaya sunod-sunuran siya noon eh. It was also... In fact, when he, uh, when he attempted to uh, amend the Constitution, eh di ba talagang binabraso siya ni Lacori na ano, na wag palitan yung Constitution. Well, uh, I, I remember uh. that this oh, di ba? Pero alam mo, ang, sa akin uh. lang, ang pananaw ko, hiwalayin natin, ano, uh -oh. um, I agree that the Constitution should have been uh, amended so many yes, years ago. Yes, ay, Diyos ko. Uh -oh. Sa akin ba naman nakakita na gano'n kung Constitution napakahaba and on, 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 uh, on <laughs> i issues or on matters that require uh, definite uh, uh, focus, mm -hmm. yun yung malalabo. Gray no? areas oh. lahat eh, no? Tapos, ang dami-dami oh. dami dami provisions dito na as may be provided by law. Mm -hmm. Eh, isipin mo yun, di hindi rin pala siya pwede mo kaagad i-implement. Oo, oh, oh, because you need an enabling law. The love and harmony that. of nature, mga ganon. Saan nila na, is this a poetry uh, book? <laughs> hindi, pero ngayon... Eh, kasi ang nangyari dyan, oh. alam mo, oh, oh. Uh, ang, 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 ang nangyari kasi dyan sa Constitution, ay mga crafters niya, basta pinag a lang ni Cory. He appointed 50 uh, constitutional uh, commission delegates. Yes. At yun na. They were not even elected by uh, uh, the but, people. Oh, but the CONCON is uh, supposed to be really like that, di ba? Oo, oh, yung CONCON dapat elected, di ba? Eh, mm -hmm. eto hindi. Oh, uh, ano, ano lang, handpick ni Cory. Eh, di syempre mm -hmm. yung mga hinanpick niya yan, yan yung magbibigay daan dun sa public utility takeover. Because yung, ano, it oh, wa diba? there was no Congress at that oh, time. Eh, Pangalawa, revol niya. revolutionary government. Oo, oh, oh, tapos, oh. oh, tapos sasabihin nila si ba Marcos ang diktador. In fact, si Cory ang diktador kasi she uh, dissolved the Constitution and she dissolved Congress oh, oh. and the Senate. And then siya yung naglabas ng naglabas ng batas. And then lahat, ano, 
Actually, si Cory ang diktador. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, actually, ang, ang laki ng sinira ni Cory sa ating bansa. Mm -hmm. uh, Alam mo, uh, medyo highly debatable yan. We've been debating that all these uh, years. Ay, nako, ngayon, lumalabas uh, na yung totoo. Oo uh, uh, nga. So, uh, ngayon, uh, ay itong problema sa traffic, sa sasakyan, sa lahat ng lack of infrastructure, uh -huh. yung mahal ng kuryente, yung mahal ng tubig, yung lack of water supply. Anong dahilan lahat niyan? Uh -huh. Because of Cory and uh, EDSA 1. Yun. Okay, so uh, let's let's not talk about that particular aspect uh, anymore. Looking forward, uh, Attorney Larry, ano ang pwede nating gawin? Uh, I mean, of course, uh, tayo, we can help recommend uh, laws. No, There's, uh, As a matter of fact, ngayon, napakalaki ng clamor uh -oh. for new laws, hindi ba? And to revisit the Constitution because uh, ano na yung Constitution natin, eh? Med medyo ano na siya, Jurassic na siya. Oh, Jurassic talaga. Oo, oh, kailangan na natin talaga siyang i-amend. So, I mean, for in the you know from the side of uh, the legal profession, uh, ano ba talaga ang pwede nating gawin din para to help naman our country para pag we come across contracts that are really onerous, eh makita natin siya ma-identify and we can tell uh, those na ito hindi ito pwede, wag naman ganito. Uh -oh. And kasi this is a gray area, attorney. Larry. Dapat yan yung mga gantong kontrata dumadaan pa rin siya sa public hearing and congressional hearings. Mm -hmm. Hindi pwedeng uh, basta na i draft nila and then secretly they will uh, conclude it. Ang nangyari dyan sa mga ano na yan eh, ganun eh. Ganun ano. Oh, oh. So you think basta that... Basta na lang nila ginawa so, ng ano. So contracts involving public utilities. Yes. Oh, it should be uh, reviewed, uh, reviewed and, and it should be subjected to a public hearing. Public hearing. Yes. Ah, so that oh. the stakeholders... Kung nagkaroon ng public hearing yan noon, hindi nangyari yan eh. Eh, ang MWSS daw, uh, they uh, consulted their, the stakeholders. Oh. oh. Eh, siyempre yung stakeholders, eh, pag nakita nila na, ay, sige, kikita tayo dyan, eh, di siyempre, o oh, papayag na lang yung Hindi, mga... when you say stakeholders naman, <laughs> ang gusto nila sabihin, yung mga, yung mga consumers. Oh, kailan? Lang, ano, kailan sila nag, ano, nag, pa, kailan nila ginawa yun? But that, eh, They that, never that, did that. That's the claim. Oh. Okay, meron... Kasi, oh. uh, di, kasi at that time, talagang lahat dinidikta nila, eh. Oo. Oh. Oo nga. So, At saka, eh, hindi lang naman yung water noon ang naging problema. Eh, diba? This was the time of uh, FBR, di ba? O, di ba? Pati yung, ano, yung uh, power, pati actually, yung gasoline, di ba? Actually, during this time, I think it was uh, the crisis on power. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Di ba yun yung time na maraming mga barges tayo oh, dahil oh. lagi tayong may mga brownouts. Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi ba? Oo. Oh, oh. So, na natigil, na-cripple din ang business noon. Na-cripple talaga. How many... Bakit ba tayo nagkaroon ng mga brownout, brownout noon? Oh, bakit? Kasi yung mga projects ni President Marcos para sa kuryente, pinatigil ni Cory. Anything na magiging mabuti sa tao, basta galing kay Marcos, <laughs> itinigil ni Cory. Ikaw Ay, naman. Baka nuclear plant, eh, the other hydroelectric plants, lahat okay. tinigil ni Cory. Okay, so let's oh. not go there anymore. Oh. Uh, total... Anything that would credit Marcos. Oo. Oh. Wag na, wag na hindi natin. Hindi baling mahirapan ng mga tao, hindi baling magkanda loko-loko ang bansa. Hindi basta bali... lang wag makredit kay Marcos. Oh, Attorney Larry, let's Kaya not... ako sinusumpa ko yung mga oh, kinito. Wag na, let's not go to town on that. You know, ibalik na lang natin sa issue at hand. And that, you know, it's up for the people to decide. Nakikita naman nila, oh, nakikita sabi mo. Na, ngayon na-realize na ng mga tao, o nga oh. pala, no? ba't nga ganyan? Oo, oh, sa, oh. kaya sa susunod, oh. na pag-guesting dito, isasama kita, yung oh. ano, side naman nila para malaman natin yung yeah, side sige, nila. Sige, sige. Oh. Okay, so maraming maraming oh, salamat. Maraming maraming Thank salamat. you very much. Maraming salamat, Kung Kim, and uh, uh, talagang nag-enjoy ako dito sa oh, ating uh, actually, discussion. Yo, we really need to come out with these issues. Hindi pwede nating to tiptoe around it. Oo, oh, eh, hindi diba? na po pwede oh, because yeah. this really involves need... public interest. That's eh. right. Okay, so maraming salamat until next time. So yeah. uh, once again, we'd like to thank our guest for tonight, Attorney Lorenzo Larry Gadon. And that is it for our episode of Congress Diaries. We will be back next week and uh, I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. I'll see you then.